yo, yo, what's up people, Tess around here and welcome, welcome to Gaming in a Heatwave, that's right, this is World of Warcraft, Wrath of the Lich King, on Warmain, Lord Ron with a Belf Hunter, and Smegger the Bear as a pet, things are going really well and we're coming now to sort of like the end of the episode Ron Woods. You know, we're high enough level easily to get started with the ghost lands, but I do want to do all of the quests uh, available because we've been stuck in classic zones forever and uh, and I want to stay in the Belf zones as long as possible before we out, you know, when we finish them we're going to be back in classic, so I want to enjoy this as much as possible. So we haven't actually got much left. And there was a comment about yo professions. When am I going to do them? Um, I had already started them. You can see in the action bars, I've already got jewel crafting and mining. But I haven't actually shown too much of it yet. Uh, it's just like the beginning stuff that I've done. Very uh, minor sort of rings and stuff. Uh, my jewel crafting is currently. 53 so for a level 13 I think the level you should be sort of looking around at 65 so we're not far off at all uh, so we're gonna do some of that now my mining is the first thing obviously I need to do because I can smelt tin and that's Malanash, about it Malanoi. but we need we need bronze now to continue our jewel crafting so I need to learn how to make it. Lovely. Death to all who oppose us. Quite right, mate. Quite right. Kill them all. So, let's get our smelting up. So, I've got enough tin on me currently to do 41. Now, it needs to be said that this tin, in particular, uh, I did send over from my DK. Now, this isn't the DK that I'm going to be having when this hunter gets to level 55 I am going to be making a DK but you can only have one on the server so the DK I've got at the moment I will be deleting him he's purely just to boost guildies and farm stuff but it's the stuff he's going to be farming is supposed to be for him or my new DK so I can catch up with the engineering as quickly as possible but I've sent over some tin anyway because my battle chance are my bags are full so 41 tin is going to turn into a lot because it doubles so 82 bronze we're going to end up after this <laughs> that's a lot I hope it sells uh, so let's do this and this uh, car spa thing I think it's called I think this is the one that's called quartz so it actually gives you a time duration and then it gives you it's times for everything, you know, the breath. I think flight paths, can't remember. But all in all, pretty good. Are we going to do all of this? We are going to do all of this. Now I didn't smell any more copper. Because I have got some already smelted. 21 by the looks of it what I should have done is smelted the copper first while it was still green and then I could have got any a few bonus points but I don't think it matters too much we are pretty much golden oh look at that 75 it just did and this is yes get the Fucking right, okay. Now you'll see there we've learned toughness rank one. Now mining gives you an increase in as it says toughness, which is health. Uh skinning increases your critical strike and herbalism gives you something really shit called plant the flower where you plant the flower. Gives you a bit of healing back or some shit, I don't know, but yes. I, it's, it's, it's almost as if every episode 
Wrath of the Lich King is going, don't forget Wrath had this, and I'll go, mother fuck. <laughs> Couldn't be happier. Right, let's make up this. So this is going to make 42. Which I think is more than enough to crack on. Because I only really want to show like a bit. I don't, I don't want professions to be too much. Because uh, it is just sitting here watching this. You know, it's... It's something I prefer to do at night or something when I can't record or too tired to record and I can just sit back and I can just put it on, watch a video while I'm doing it. But that's really good. That's really good. In fact, what... Should we have a look see what silver is? Because I've only got the one silver ore on me, but it is, let's be honest, Our enemies will fall. a silver ore. We can. So look at that. Now I'm going to do it because, yeah, it could be like, oh, well, bronze is still green. Wait till you've got some tin. But obviously mining the tin, you're going to level that up anyway. And the chances are it won't. So I'm going to go ahead and smelt it. Just so it's done. So we're now on 92. Ooh, getting a bit of lag there, was I? What happened then? I could prospect those. Because I'm going to need gems. Because we have prospecting. Now this turns five ores into like, I mean the copper ore will only be Tiger's Eye, Malachite, or Shadow Gem. And yeah, I said Malachite because that's what I'm going to start calling it anyway. Uh, so, so I can now make three of these. Look at the state of that. And even though this is, you know, very low level, very beginning stuff, the economy on this server is amazing. It really is just, it's just gold for days. You can make a killing even on the rings, low level rings. Couldn't believe it myself, but it's a happening. So delicate copper wires. So either way, we're going to need to smelt a few more copper. Let's just get rid of that nine although i think it probably needs to be ten to make i think i mean you need two bars to make a delicate copper wire yes it is oh, that's a shame oh well it's easy enough to get another stack in it smelt bronze and we've still got a shed load of bronze to do, haven't we? I just wanted to save some for prospecting. I didn't want to use too much tin. So, 40. That'll leave me a couple to prospect with. Mm. See how it goes. Right, let's turn these five. Bronze settings would be a good idea to make as well. A lot of the the next lot of rings are going to need them. The solid bronze ring doesn't need any. Three stamina it is really good. I've already got one of these in the bank for me. Uh, the inlaid Malachiti ring. I haven't got the necklace yet because I've currently got this one, which I'm going to be putting on soon, the plus two agility. Mm. Core stone statues I'll make up. Because core stone don't get used for anything else. So, use them now. Use them wisely. Uh, it's only going to be three to get to 60. We'll just see what colour everything turns. Mm. 
not made a lot of difference. Well, I'm going to make some of these up. I'll make the five. That will give us a 65. A solid 65. Nice. Let's just move these. Just want to move all this shit out of the way. I mean, that's a lot of... A lot of copper left over, isn't it? Not going to need all those. Right. I mean, if we can get to 75 on it, we'll be laughing. We'll be proper on ball. The only thing I'm worried about is being in a situation where I have to sort of hang around in lower level zones to catch professions up. I'd rather they were, you know, solid, done and dusted. We're going to need some more things though. So we've got 20, so let's do 20. And then that gives me more than enough copper left over to do some prospecting. I don't feel I need to, though, to be honest. I've got plenty. Once we get to, you know, prospecting tin or where we can get, like, moss agate and stuff like that, then, yeah, probably use a fair bit more. I'm going to make all of these. I'm still getting a few points. Up to 95 on the mining now. That is insanity. I don't want to spend all these on solid bronze rings. Or 30 armour. Not brilliant. I'll make some more of these. Seventy four, how annoying. Get to seventy five. I don't know why this is lagging out like a bitch. Oh, someone's having a word with the training dummies. Right, so to do anything else I need to actually be at the trainer. I don't think I'm gonna be doing any more smelting at this time. I think that's more than enough for professions. Now bear in mind, if you do take jewel crafting, I'm pretty sure it's only Silver Moon you can level it. So bear that in mind. It's something I'm kind of regretting. Um, wow, okay, yeah, we are going to start to need... Look at that! Yeah, I mean, why speculate? Just get on with it. Uh, let's see what we can do. Woo. Okay, so yeah, look, see, we need Mossagate. So we're definitely going to need to start uh, prospecting tin. Can make some of those. I'm pretty sure there's another ring. Uh, that requires silver that's like way better and I'm if I, if I can remember right I think I'm supposed to save silver until that point
bronze band of force weapon damage and spell power so a paladin will be all over that shammy enhancement shammy I don't think it's going to reply to me too much let's prospect There's the Malachiti. And there's the Tiger's Eye. Uh, right, okay, so we can make one of these. I'm going to. Because why not? Why not? Why wouldn't you? Load that shit up. brilliant necklace oh it's just that is just stunning absolute stunning I don't want to spend it all on those uh, but I can get oh right make three more of these and a necklace Brilliant necklaces are simply brilliant. There's just, there's no other thing for it. So I'm going to make sure I save that. Bronze Toric. Ring of Silver might, that might be the one I'm thinking of. I mean, it's strength. As hunters, we'd probably be better off with the uh, the Elegant. That takes two. So I can make one elegant. Can I? Yes. So I, for a minute there I thought it was two silver. So that'll be one for me later. Pick that up. So I don't need those. Three stamina at level 17. Or will I keep the two agility? I'll most likely keep the two agility. Gotta be honest. Uh, Ring of Silver Might. No, that one. A very tanky ring. It's very tanky. For tank. Very much so. And... Hold your head high. You know, he's 34. He probably doesn't need it now. Yulu, Yulo is our warrior go-to tank. Uh, forward slash proper leg end. He's my hero. Uh... Well, why speculate? Let's find out. That's if he's able to answer. Okay, so he doesn't need it, so we can go straight on ahead of sell it. That gives us the 82. So there's nothing. Time is of the essence. Supplies, no recipes, and yeah, so that is it. That is literally it. Okay, here we are. We're at Fair Breeze Village, ready to do some quests. Uh, but the first quest we're going to do before we get started on the map ones is some that Haya has sent me. Now he's advised me that this is a repeatable quest. It's called a Rogue's Deck. And as you can see, he's sent me uh, 10 of these things. We've also got 
I also mentioned there was something in Wrath Always that I fucking love. The Battered Jungle Hat. Oh yeah. Not to everybody's taste, but I think... I like it. It don't look as good from behind. In fact, it's actually made me go completely bold. Um, but it's just nice. I don't like having the empty slots. I can't wait until all these are filled. Uh, okay, so we've got a really cushy hat with the rapier. So we're proper going full musketeer, but not a musket. It's a bow, but never mind. Uh, right, so... We get to pick, uh, obviously, leather cloth or mail apparently it gives you like there's like random stats so we can repeat the quest and until we get one that suits us so thank you very much Haya awesome I probably didn't need eight of the smeggers but you never know uh, communicate through the spirit world to request an audience with a dark moon fortune teller hello Rogue's decks are so far. So we're going to get 270 XP either way. So let's go with the Dark Moon Vest. I'm hoping it doesn't look like awful. Three agility, three stamina. So our first one's of the monkey. What I'd like is Falcon. This is the tiger. Agility and strength. Not bad. Very roguish. How you doing, man? All right. You be careful, man. Twelve attack power. Not bad. We're going to keep going. Fingers crossed we get Falcon. That's what I want. Falcon. Falcon. Stay away from the voodoo. Another tiger. That's two tigers. Talk to me. Uh, Falcon. A Falcon, please. Falcon. Okay, okay. Agility, six agility. I think we're on a winner here. 78 plus six. What am I actually currently wearing? 73 plus four. So what I'm wearing really is already better than that one. It's slightly less armor, but four agility, three stamina is just better. Uh, so only the best of the agility so far if i get falcon talk to me cuz falcon is agility and intellect bye bye now another fucking tiger how you doing man these are made by inscription inscription being an extremely cool uh, profession when it come into it Oh, fucking hell. We got three tigers out of this. Three. Don't be shy. Come on, falcon, 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 falcon. You be careful, man. Oh, have a word with yourself. It's just spinning out the tigers. <laughs> what a letdown. But, hey, it also sent me some... Enchant chest health. So if I put that on the vestment of agility. Six agility, five health. I will wear that. Can't tell what it looks like. Awful. <laughs> It'd be alright as long as we keep the tab hard on, I suppose. But yeah, nice. Okay, so we're at the hair area now just behind Sathel's Haven and we're gonna get to the road. These were very low level. We're gonna get to the road and start making our way down. You see here as well, 
just wanted to point out there that you know like in classic even if the thing was on uh, defensive your pet wouldn't do anything you know if you if you was in a group say until something attacked you your pet wouldn't do shit but now it just seems to kick off as soon as I as soon as I get started it's quite nice less to worry about with the pet I'm just gonna head over here just to just to make sure I unlock everything because we also want to get the achievement for unlocking all of uh, Silver Moon not Silver Moon the ever so wrong ever song good woods place here we want to unlock here but I have just seen an ore and an undiscovered ore is quite literally where the party's at in fact I think I've just found something else but this is what it's all about getting that grind in there getting that grind it's not tin but all helps check him out now I'm, lo I'm loving it just loving it at the moment and because of all our additional agility and the fact that we're quite a fair bit higher level than uh, the average mob we are killing things badly now the only regret I kind of have is with my talents at the moment they are a bit scatty because I haven't know what to do so I haven't gone into I haven't gone into uh, beast mastery yet purely because I want aim shot which is here so it's going to be the 16th point in marksmanship and the first two I put in here was a bit scary I went for focused aim first for pushback and then I thought no that was a bit stupid uh, so I'd rather get rid of that then I started going into concussive shot and I thought no that's just even worse man that's even worse really should have gone into lethal shots which I will be correcting at some point. I just don't really feel the need to have to waste gold on respecking at this point. I've put two points into Hawkeye, which is nice. That just needs one more. Uh, the last two talent points I got, that was what those were. I went, right, let's just sort this out. Let's fix it. So I've decided to increase my range. So the range of all my abilities is now a nice whopping 39 yards oh, 5 to 39 you have to excuse me this heat wave is just making my hay fever just go to tits up and I'm feeling rather blocked at the moment so we need to slay 10 withered green keepers Keep these are tree or ents or tree ents or whatever law you decide to follow these things we need to kill 10 of these and one of them will drop an item which starts another quest and that's the one I'm after I don't know whether or not I need to come to the coast I, I'm hoping I've cracked it with that lot but I don't want to have to come all the way back so I'm just going to go down to the water perhaps follow the this rocky summit get some ore out of it then it won't be a complete waste of time but I just want to make sure all the map is uncovered when I leave. And usually the best way to do that is just to make sure you do all the quests. But not everywhere. You know, the uh, top side one where we had to deactivate the spires and that. That is your breeze coast. If you don't actually run down to the coast, it won't unlock. Just doing the quest there won't unlock it. So uh, sometimes you do have to take a peek. Now I know that's on the edge of Ghostlands. Golden Strand, is it? Is it one to unlock? Apparently not, but it was definitely called something else, so. Scorched Grove, you know, that's done really well, isn't it? So, what am I missing? Just this room place then. Anyway, let's get on with the uh, let's get on with the quest. Let's finally do some fighting today.
Now I have chosen the bear specifically because he has swipe and can attack multiple enemies but these are dropping so fast I don't think it wouldn't be worth it the amount of damage that Smega would end up taking because of the amount of mobs uh, would end up slowing down because we'd have to stop to uh, use one of our bandages on him Now is it one of these that drops the item or is it actually old Wither Barky himself anyway? Oh look at the range on it! Jeez! The arrows needed a passport to go that distance. There he is, old Witherbark. That's a fucking range, isn't it? That is gorgeous. And I'm pretty sure the range does affect the threat. If we're if we're miles back, you know. Which is not going to cause that much threat, especially not in groups. Okay, so we've got the pendant, and this goes back to the quest hand in for this, so we're not going to go anywhere. We're just going to kill our last four and then run back. How's everyone coping with the heat? It's supposed to be like proper thunderstorms tonight and tomorrow but I'm guessing by the time you watch this video it would have been a week or so back or something so you tell me was it a good thunderstorm Rapier might be just a little bit. State your business. A bit too long. The reckoning is at hand. Okay, so we're handing both of these. This is the pendant we picked up. Lovely. Okay, so now we need to go and do something. We will have justice. Use it by the rune stone thing, and I'm pretty sure that rune stone's the last one, the last area to uh, unlock within the map. There is another broomstone and a quest the other side. I've already walked there. Doing mining. Thought I was about to have company there. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's get as close as we can. Blood thistle. Requires herbalism, but I'll click on that anyway. <gasps> Let's see if we can get an egg. That hit me from here. What? I'm the only one here. Not sword of strength, linen cloth. Not a lot. Really, uh, peace bloom, saint to sell, strength. I'll probably chuck that on Smega at some point. Let's sell that, use that, use that. Yeah, we got some stuff, right? So, necklace, I'm there. Okay, do I need to be licking it? Yes. The pet resisted the entangling roots, that's really cool. Ta da! Brilliant. 
I'm starting to get the feeling I didn't unlock the whole map. Perhaps that wasn't the rune stone that I needed to unlock, it's this one. teleport there boom boom we have now unlocked all of the ever song roots that's good rune warden darian okay place the infused crystal at the eastern rune stone and protect it from the scourge for a whole minute Return the infused crystal to Rune Warden Yan in Eversong Woods uh, for your reward we will have justice. of three silver. Oh. With this Ferrero Rocher, you're really fucking spoiling us, mate. But we do have to go across the scar, and there is ore, so... Awesome stuff. i got to admit, I'm really enjoying the sped up slightly, but not too much pace. Uh, of the game. Everything's very fluid in Wrath of the Lich King. You know, I am so completely addicted to the DK. And the idea that the DK that I'm playing at the moment, because I can only have one, uh, that I'm going to be deleting him, which means I haven't got to worry too much about... Um, you know, there's ninjas still... I need to grow up or fuck off or something, but because the because the character's not gonna, you know, survive. It's uh, it's so chilled, and that's one thing that I have noticed. Oh, love it. Um. With Wrath, you know, the one of the biggest difference, the main thing that I can tell at the moment is purely the atmosphere. Classic is so serious. You know, to the point in which you play and you spend 80% of the time stressed or pissed off or feeling like you've, you're working and got a job and... And now I'm on Raf, it's like, yeah, now this is a day off, you know what I'm saying? This is a day off. I'm actually... I'm not stressed. It's proper chilled. Okay, picking up plenty of crap now, ain't we, really? Oh, someone uh, failed. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a pet... Shall I put him on aggressive? Do I need to? Probably not. Excuse me, we'll see how it goes. I think we're going to be alright. We're not even getting XP for these. XP, no loot. Great sound. I don't know if it's going to come through on the recording because of the volumes in that bit. Complete. That's it. Jobs are good. 
so as far as quests go we've already got the delivery to tranquil and obviously we did this when we were doing the pet quest because we was in the area so why not um so i'm pretty sure once we've done this unless we have to go back to fairbreeze which i really hope we don't there's no flight path um our time here in in the other song woods is is now finished I'm almost sad. Because it is such a nice place, you know. It's colourful. You know, it's completely new music rather than all the regular classic sounds. You know the the songs and the barons and Mulgore and and whatnot's all very similar, aren't they? If not completely identical. What business have you? Time is of the essence. And that is indeed it. You know. No, sorry. There's going to be a few cuts in here because every so often I am going to need to sneeze and blow my nose and and all the rest of it. Sorry. Uh, right. So we are done. We are actually done. I can't believe it. That is insane. It's time to head over to Tranquil N in the Ghostlands. We're going to pick up as many of those gorgeous quests as we can. And I'm guessing at level 13, it's going to be a few of them. But yes, and I mean, if you have watched every episode so far, um, brilliant. Thank you. I really appreciate it. Uh, let me know if there is any quests I've missed. Because uh, I'm not using Questy because that's a pile of smeg. Uh, but I'm pretty sure, other than possibly class quests, is there any other quests I've missed? I'm assuming there's going to be some at some point, maybe in Silver Moon. But for the most part, for the Eversong Woods, as far as I know, that's all of them. Absolutely all of them. So if I have missed any... I haven't accidentally missed them, I completely don't know they exist, so please put in the comments if there is a quest. Uh, just the title will do, and then I can look it up if need be, or, you know. As far as I know, that's all of them. But correct me if I'm wrong. Right, Tranquilin. It's literally just up there, we've only got to follow the road. And Haya is now online. He do we So we were playing last night and my internet went down and it was like the evening before my day off is my late night on there and then my internet went down and I was like, oh you motherfucker. Because I've been waiting ages for it. Ghostland's flame keeper. State your business. Under the flame. Ding. Literally wasn't expecting that. I don't really do the flame stuff. I know it's a 10% bonus for doing a ribbon thing that Haya keeps telling me. I'm not bothered. I'm not interested. There's only certain seasonal things that I do. The main one being the Pilgrim's Bounty. Okay, so delivery to Tranquil End. We'll hand this in. Oh, oh my word. Uh, so we're going to lose some armor, but gain some agility. Remember the sun well. I'm literally doing it. And the stick stop bag. State your business. The Forsaken. Speak with High Executor Maverin at Tranquil End. We will have justice will do Speak 
noise. Flame eater. I pick that up because it's just speaking to someone and it gets it out of the way. Our Flight path. Salvaging the past. Yes. Keep your wits about you. Now I will be going through these, as you can see I haven't automatically started tracking these so I prefer to pick which ones I'm going to track at the time otherwise it just fills up. Um, Underlight Mines, Troll Juju. Spoilers. Because he's been itching for me to open them. Because he wanted to know what I would get out of it. Uh, wait for the episode. <laughs> wait for the episode. Okay, Slay 10 Risen Hungerers. So that's down the scar. That might be on you down <laughs> <laughs> That's a lovely joke. Plus six agility. I don't want to sneeze again. I haven't finished the episode yet. I'm holding it back. I'm not gonna be out of it. What do you seek? Culinary crunch, this is gonna be nice for our things. It's what I'm actually already eating. This was something that another higher level can, gave me for no reason at all, which I really appreciate. Goods from Silver Moon. This is what I wanted because I'm going to be going to Silver Moon anyway to do my level 14 skills. This quest is actually going to force us there. The dark times will pass. Farewell. Sun Crown. Oh, oh, oh. And then we end up here. So that's all the quests this is where all the quests are at the moment now the we'll be starting these in the next episode so we're going to be going there first uh Nerubis guards we'd also get a quest on the way to get a named one called unsutuen kiyab two something begin with a and uh and we'll be starting that side ish maybe I mean I think the ghost lands I kind of do it sort of layer it working my way down to a point sort of ending here and then here final uh, but it should be good but I'm gonna have a sneeze and fit so I've got to go so thanks an awful lot for watching I do really appreciate it let me know what you think in the comments and I'll see you all in the next one